Now is it just me, or does it sometimes seem that regular show definitely isn't for kids? Now for this rather trippy conspiracy, I asked my friend Chad to help me out. Yeah, sentient hot dog people, a talking gumball machine, ostriches playing baseball. Is regular show just one big acid trip? This theory stems from J.G. Quintel's short film, Two in the AMPM, which is about two guys who accidentally take LSD while working at a gas station convenience store. <laughs> what? Acid? In their hallucinations, they turn into a giant anthropomorphic blue jay and a talking gumball machine. The short ends with the two still tripping, but this theory proposes that Mordecai and Benson became addicted to acid and the result? is the entire series of regular show. Their constant drug abuse would lead to several mental illnesses, such as multiple personality disorder and schizophrenia. Their friends and coworkers are just figments of their drug-induced imagination. This drug addiction would actually explain their terrible choices in food, video games, music, basically anything in the show. In fact, the park they work in isn't even real. The alleged park is supposedly an abandoned house that Benson and Mordecai live in. The theory goes on further to say that Skips, the wise old ape man, is actually Mordecai's drug supplier, and every piece of advice he gives Mordecai is something that he experienced while he was on acid. Pops is a shady crime lord who plays naive to get away with things, which I believe is a defense used by Suge Knight for several years. Benson is a shady sheriff who lets Pops get away with him and do whatever he wants. Muscle Man and High Five Ghosts are actually stoners, and Innocent Margaret is an ex-girlfriend of Mordecai, who he used to suspect was cheating on him. And Rigby well, Rigby is Mordecai's dead best friend, who died when they were both 15, which explains why they're always hanging out together and why they're always acting like teenagers. Rigby is essentially a ghost, dragging Mordecai down and keeping him from growing emotionally. So is acid really the answer for regular show's crazy antics? To start, let's look at Two in the AMPM, which is a senior film done by J.G. Quintel, the show's creator, while he was studying at Cal Arts, while also working on Flapjack at Cartoon Network, which is a pretty cool side job to have. Cut to two years later, and Cartoon Network is looking for a few shows that are a bit more PG. J.G. takes his original short, adds a few characters, changes the backstory, and then you have the pilot for regular show. So besides the character designs for Mordecai and Benson, there isn't necessarily any connection between his short film and the actual series. And because regular show is PG, I don't think there are going to be any LSD references. But the show is trippy enough that I can't prove this theory entirely false. So on the plausibility meter, I give the regular show conspiracy two and a half baby ducks out of five. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Cartoon Conspiracy. If there are any conspiracies you guys would like us to cover, let us know in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to Channel Frederator and check out Toonsday and Saturday morning cartoons. And as always, if you guys want to check out any of the research we did while writing this episode, make sure you check in the description. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.